All right, this time around, we've received many updates to components, including a timeline update, an exciting development update for new components. So we need to get excited about the latest Rust Cosmic desktop development. Here we have the Cosmic Alpha Countdown blog post. I'll be covering many things today, so relax while I talk about Cosmic desktop environments development, including highlights like the progress made, technical details, and commitment to the user experience and community engagement. First off, we'll start with the blog post here. In January, we set a goal to release Cosmic Alpha at the end of the first quarter. Cosmic application development had just started around that time. The initial plan was to release the Alpha with the same GNOME apps found in the current POP OS 22.04 and roll out Cosmic apps as they were completed. Well, exciting news, Cosmic application development has gone much faster and smoother than anticipated. We've nearly completed terminal and edit the text editor and have made significant progress on files and the application store, which we're going to be talking about the application store and much more, including a new app that's been ported over from GTK4 or Lib Iowata to Lib Cosmic. Let's keep reading about the blog before running into those things. Cosmic apps showcase what's possible with the Cosmic widget library. The ICE toolkit and the Cosmic theming system, they also help demonstrate the long-term vision for the platform. With how far they've come, we've decided to delay the alpha release until the core apps reach MVP, a minimal viable product, so that they may be included with the initial ISO. This puts us somewhere around the late May for the alpha. However, and this is important, even though that they've had to delay the alpha version, they will be sticking to the completed overall release expected later this year with Pop OS 24.04. This is great to hear. The team is hyper focused on getting us something that works right out of the box. Therefore, it's completely fine that the release for the alpha is going to be pushed back a little bit, but we are still expecting a complete summer release. We're going to talk about what does an alpha release mean, but let's get into some of the items that have been worked on, including people like Edward Flores, who have been contributing by porting things over and making one of the first third-party applications. That's right, Cosmic To Do. We can see what Cosmic To Do looks like here on the left-hand side called Shopping. They've done an amazing job actually styling the Cosmic desktop here. Shout out to Eduardo. Keep up the amazing work because there's clear excitement for Cosmic, but if you didn't notice on the background here, the desktop is Cosmic running on Fedora Linux 39. That's right. It's pretty wild, but if you haven't noticed, it's fairly easy to port this desktop over to other Linux distributions. It's an exciting thing because a lot of distributions are going to benefit from this. We've already seen the likes of Acai Linux, NixOS, and now Fedora getting Cosmic desktop, and I don't think that's going to be stopping in the future many more ports are to be made. Another component that's necessary and is a work in progress is the Cosmic App Store. Here's the current GitHub for it. The team is actively working on it with everything, of course, being made in Rust. Let's take a moment to experience it. Here is the Cosmic App Store as built. Special thanks to Michael, who's been giving me access and information about Cosmic Desktop. Over the past year, one of the System76 devs has given a sneak peek at the App Store with the classic cosmic theming, the blue showing up in all accents. And then we have various different categories here, including create, work, develop, learn, game, relax, socialize, utilities, installed apps, and updates. These are all the various different subcategories you can choose from. You can also search and then find whatever you need. Here we go. They were searching for retro arc, a front end for an emulators, game engines, and media players. You can notice a preview below in the App Store. Very simple, very to the point, and easy to install anything from and search with this brand new Cosmic Store. Looking forward to trying this one out. It's one of the last things being produced here in Cosmic. Another wonderful thing that has been worked on is Wiznokes Fan Control. What is this? Well, all of you laptop and desktop users rejoice as Display sensors and real-time data for your fans, including controls based on custom behaviors, are going to be available. Here's what things look like, including fan speed of the computer, GPU speed, 
depending on how many GPUs you have. CPU fan speed, if you have a CPU fan, and other information will be available. This is actively being ported as well. That's always excited as this rapid and user-centric desktop gets created. Another Cosmic to-do app, this could probably be called the first Cosmic desktop extension. We briefly looked at it, but here's a better image of the actual app being ported by Eduardo. Notice they have categories here, such as shopping ideas, bugs, they can create, and then they can create a list of items underneath each individual category with putting their own custom icons. It's exciting to see this new Rust desktop app being created for us. Keep up the great work community. Let's get back to the blog so we can read more about it. Before I get to one of my favorite components coming to the Rust Cosmic desktop environment, what does an alpha release mean? During alpha release, Development features are created and released with only engineering sign-off. In interest of rapid iteration between teams, quality assurance and design review is completed after the code release. This means breakage is expected. It's a feature of moving fast. Cosmic will have at least two alpha releases. That's good to know. We understand their phasing approach here. After the first beta features and major bugs are considered resolved and new code requires engineering quality assurance, and sometimes a design sign-off before release. I guess we can expect after the second iteration of the alpha, we'll get a beta release. Finished items, hybrid graphics. Now, this is what I want to talk about. There are some potential performance improvements still to come, but hybrid graphics is now alpha ready. Cosmic works with graphics drivers to improve greater control, predictability, and performance with hybrid graphics. Thanks to improvements in graphics drivers over the years, hybrid graphics mode now has a minimal impact on battery life when the GPU is not in use. Wayland and Cosmic Compositor, meanwhile, give us more control over what causes the GPU to turn on when Cosmic users wish to save the life. The battery applet will tell them the GPU is being used and which apps are using it. Closing those apps will turn off the GPU. So a more controlled approach to how your GPU gets used by your computer which is definitely one of the most exciting things that they are developing at the System76 team for this new modern hybrid graphics mode. It helps with things like notifications when DGPU is used, a list of apps using the GPU, ways to disable and enable reduced battery life, and a link and many, many more power and battery applet power settings. This is an awesome deal. I don't think enough Linux distributions and desktop environments focus on this. There's ways to save energy and a modern app to manage your hybrid graphics is definitely a necessity. Moving on to minimize and restore. Functionality has been implemented to minimize and restore windows. Minimize windows appear in specialized minimize windows applet that will be on the dock by default, but can also be added to the panel. When apps are minimized, they'll animate the minimize window applet and show a small preview of where they can be restored from. New wallpapers. The initial nine of our set of new wallpapers have been chosen. We'll showcase these in a separate blog post down the line. Looking forward to seeing what types of wallpapers they've chosen. I'm sure there'll be a lot of blue tints inside of those wallpapers. Tiling applet. The tiling applet has been implemented here. Users can view tiling shortcuts, show or hide active hint toggle between tiled and floating windows, as well as tile windows per workspace, meaning you can take advantage of both tiled and floating workspaces in the same session. One thing that Pop! OS and their desktop environment has done well in the past is seamlessly integrated both a full-fledged desktop environment with floating windows and a tiled window mode. That way you can easily get between modes that allow you to use your mouse and or keyboard together or completely separated, such as in the tile mode, which focuses on keyboard control. Input device settings, input device settings panel and functionality have been implemented. The updated panel shows the latest stylings used as well as features like tap to click, edge scrolling and toggling touchpad acceleration. Keyboard settings such as input control and shortcuts are being implemented. Here are those settings, another image for us for the touchpad. I spoke about this in the last video where we're getting many more settings, especially for us notepad or laptop users to customize the way that we want to use our touchpads. Phenomenal work. We'll continue on to the final stretch 
of the cosmic desktop environment, including things like Cosmic Terminal. The terminal's alpha release includes support for dragging and dropping file paths into the terminal, as well as confirmation dialog if a user attempts to close the terminal while process is running. Cosmic Edit, to finish up Cosmic Text Editor, we're in the process of adding Spellcheck, the ability to restore a session and feature. To revert all changes in the session, see the full list here. App and Applets icons. New icons for the Cosmic Apps and Applets are on the way. Some are completed, but we're still adjusting the colors on others. Cosmic Files. Cosmic Files and MVP designs are complete and implementation is underway. More styling will need to be implemented to match the final designs, but here is the current state of the application seen in the screenshots of both Grid View and List View. All right, we're finally getting a sense of what the file manager will look like clearly you can choose between what type of view you have including a grid view list view etc let's talk about new additions including in theming and light mode legibility the team has been making including michael who has recently made a build for all cosmic applets into one multi call binary which has reduced the amount of disk space and memory by 120 megabytes that's wild. It's definitely a wonderful performance boost. And these optimizations are a primary focus of some of the team to not only bring us a wonderful desktop environment, but also a lean desktop environment. Not all desktop environments can say this, including KDE Plasma. Sorry to throw some shade that way. I know a lot of us love it, but it does take up a lot of our resources. Being memory conscious, especially for older potato machines, is definitely help with some more news that things like workspaces in the launcher might be able to be embedded into the cosmic applets binary which could save an additional 35 megabytes might not seem a lot but it all adds up just talking about some of those that was 150 megabytes of memory and or disk space saved continuing on theming support was added to cosmic's implementation of the xdg desktop portal that enables other applications and toolkits to adhere to a dark mode light mode and user configured accent colors light theme support has been added to cosmic compositor for stack headers and tabs light mode legibility i talked about this in the last video font rendering quality for dark text rendered onto light background has been improved thanks to the upstream ice toolkits new color management the web colors features use the same methods to render colors as web browsers finally cosmic at linux fest northwest system 76's ceo carl richel will be at linux fest northwest this year to showcase cosmic desktop environment hosted at bellingham and technical college in washington state the conference features exhibits events and features organizations across Linux open source infosec and privacy go to Carl's talk on Saturday April 27th at noon definitely hope some of you who are excited show up love to see all this development I'm super excited to get this even though that we're getting it now in May I was predicting April but it, it is, is what it is. is I'm glad that the team at system 76 is focused on not only optimizing things giving us a completed product but also focusing on the user experience. It's easy just to throw something at the user that's not complete, but that's clearly not the approach for System76. Let's celebrate this news as we clearly approach the first alpha release. Let me know what you're thinking about the desktop environment. Are you going to try it out? Let me know in the comments section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.